A common complaint I hear about browsing websites on a mobile device is the way the websites are actually rendered. And today I'm specifically going to talk about a way to prevent a website from jumping and skipping all over the place because of other elements loading onto the screen actually off the screen but on the web page this is really noticeable on websites that have a lot of ads and it's actually a big reason why a lot of people will install ad blocking ad blocking software on their smartphone or tablet to prevent the issue of you scrolling through a web page trying to tap on one thing and then have an ad jump in or have an ad load in and, and make you tap or click on something else that you weren't trying to tap on and thankfully Google has a feature built into Chrome that prevents this issue but as of right now, the feature is tucked away in the flags section. So you're going to have to manually enable this feature to take advantage of it. So to do that, we need to launch the Chrome application, of course. Then we're going to need to copy this specific line now you could just type in chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags and then scroll down to where this feature is located or you could just paste the text that I have included in the full tutorial which is linked in the description below this video you just want to copy and paste that into the address bar or again you can type out all of that text and then go to that feature. At the very top you're going to see exactly the feature we're looking for. It's called scroll anchoring and it will adjust the scroll position of a website to prevent visible jumps whenever off-screen content changes. So a lot of banner ads will load in on a mobile website after everything else is loaded in so while you're seeing content and you scroll through it a banner ad can load toward the top of the website and that can push a lot of content down and mess up whenever you're trying to tap on something so to change this we just need to go to this specific URL tap on that drop down menu change it from default to enabled and then you're going to be asked to relaunch Chrome so this feature can take effect. Now this feature will likely be enabled by default in future versions of Chrome so we will likely see that feature removed entirely if that is the case or it could stay and, you'll, and then we'll always have the ability to disable this feature in the future if it's something you don't like. So that is it. Once you enable that feature then you can browse websites like you normally do and you shouldn't see content jumping on the screen 